This circuit is a parallel circuit. I know this because the electrons can take more than one route to get from one side of the battery to the other. Here's the parallel circuit and I'm going to use an ammeter to measure the current flowing in different parts of the circuit. So here in the top part of the circuit, near the battery, I've got a current of 1.35 amps flowing in all the parts of the circuit connected to the battery. Now let's look at what's happening to the current in the branches of the circuit. Here in this branch I've got a current of 0 0.90 amps flowing while here in this branch I've got a current of 0 0.45 amps flowing. Here are the values of the current that I measured in different parts of the circuit. Now we need to see if we can work out why the currents are different in different parts of the circuit. So we're going to start by looking at that junction there. And going into the junction I've got a current of 1.35 amps and coming out I've got two currents, one 0.90 amps and one 0.45 amps. If I look, 0.45 added to 0.90 comes to 1.35 amps. So here the current is splitting, some of it's going that way and some of it's going that way. So let's follow it round to the other side and look at what happens here. So at this junction, well, I've got a current of 0.90 amps and 0.45 amps flowing in and those two currents are adding together to make a current of 1.35 amps flowing out. So at a junction we can say that the current flowing out of the junction is equal to the current flowing in. So if I add up all the currents flowing into the junction and the currents flowing out it must be the same. And similarly I can say that the current flowing through the branches of the parallel circuit, if I add them together, that gives me the current flowing through the battery. Here I'm using a voltmeter to measure the voltage or potential difference across the battery. And as you can see it's 9 volts. Because the battery is the only component in the top branch, the voltage across the top branch is also 9 volts. Now if I measure the voltage across the first branch in the parallel circuit, again it's 9 volts, the same as the voltage across the battery. And now the voltage across the bottom branch, again 9 volts, the same as the battery. And because this resistor is the only thing in the bottom branch, it must also have a voltage of 9 volts across it. parallel circuit showing the currents that are flowing and we also know that the battery is a 9 volt battery. We're going to try and explain why these currents are different and to do that the first thing we need to do is see if we can work out what the values of R1 and R2 are. So we know that the resistance R equals the voltage V divided by the current I. So, R1 must equal, well, the voltage across that branch we know is the same as the voltage across the battery, so that must be 9 volts divided by the current flowing in that branch is 
0 0.90 amps so that comes to 10 ohms okay we'll repeat that now for R2 so R2 equals well again the voltage across this branch must be the same as the voltage across the battery so that's 9.00 volts divided by the current flowing through that resistor there is 0.45 amps and that equals 20 ohms so I've got 10 ohms here and 20 ohms here so we now need to use that information to explain why these two currents are different and we know from work we've done previously that the bigger the resistance the smaller the current so when the current flows down here because this route has more resistance in it than this route it means that less current flows this way than this way in fact if you look at these values this current here is half of this current here because this resistance here is double this resistance here